Hey guys, we'll check back. Um, I know it's been almost well, a little over a month um, since I've done an update. I figured you guys didn't need to hear an update every single week, um, so I might do this monthly. Um, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> so, a couple things. Um, don't mind me, I've been tweaking uh, mixer settings. I found out I had the incorrect settings. So, explanations. Number one, yes, these are the nice new glasses. Now, I mentioned the cost in the last video. Now, this is not the only pair. There's another pair similar to my old ones, but you see right here at the bridge, it has two pieces. That's what the other ones are. These are my normal everyday glasses. They're nice. They actually say Harley Davidson on the side of them. I was like, whoa, you know, they were on sale. So these are my everyday. My other ones are the bigger, cover more of the eye. Those ones I'm going to use for more like um, if I'm working on vehicles or doing something outside that um, requires a little bit more eye protection. Uh, so those are my working glasses. So there, there's the glasses. Now, a couple things have happened since my last update in May. And the biggest one has been E3. So, you know, here we go. Microsoft saying what we wanted to hear. Sony saying what we wanted to hear. So on and so forth. Um, then... Uh, you know, announcement of the new Assassin's Creed, Unity, which sounds really fun. Um, I'm going to get it. I'll probably get it on PC because I have every other Assassin's Creed and all the DLCs on PC. Um, they hinted at Mass Effect 4, um, another Forza Horizon game, which I'd like to pick that up. A um, handful of other things. I'm, I'm not going to go into the E3 stuff. Um, another big thing is the big controversy with Ubisoft. Um, now, the reason why I bring this up is I did get Watch Dogs. Finished it. Enjoyed it. It was fun. It, even in easy mode, it was challenging. Um, I did not get into any of the online stuff. Um, I did screw up, though, because... Previously, I had accidentally made a second Uplay account. So, if I want to play Watch Dogs, I gotta go with one Uplay account. If I want to play uh, Splinter Cells or my uh, Assassin's Creed, I gotta use my main Uplay account. And Ubisoft will not allow you to move your registered game from one account to another if it's a mistake. And there's another controversy. But the big controversy, everybody knows it by now. Um, Ubisoft turned around and said they wouldn't do it, but they did. They downgraded the PC graphics. Now, I heard a lot of people day one complaining, oh, the game's not running right. Um, I'm getting stuttering issues. Uh, my drive, it stutters. When I do this, it stutters. Um, I'm getting graphical artifacts. I'm getting tearing. I'm getting this and that. I have had absolutely no problems. Now, surprisingly, I say this surprisingly, um, I've had no problems. Because uh, not only did Ubisoft turn around and downgrade everything to that of a console playing a 1080, which none of the console games play a 1080, I don't think. I could be wrong. Um, but they also added um, NVIDIA's GameWorks or whatever they call it. It's, it's it's sort of like Mantle for AMD, but NVIDIA is being pricks and not sharing. And they actually have code written in it that slows AMDs down. Well, the <laughs> funny thing is it also slows their cards down. Hmm. But I've had no problems. I've actually gone into the INI file, the config file, and there's one line in there that says console, I changed the PC, looks beautiful, runs great. Um, 
So I turn around tinkered with that. Um, now, as for the one thing I was waiting for was, um, and this is the reason why I didn't do an update last week, which would have been almost exactly a month. It's the fact I finally had my surgery. Um, had a little complication, nothing major. Um, they didn't like the, when I was under anesthesia, the amount of oxygen that my body was intaking, it was a little low. So they kept me overnight just to make sure everything's okay. So no problem there. Um, first two days, um, pain. All I wanted to do was sleep. Um, while I was laying there, if it, I had an inkling I needed to use the restroom, I had to move then because it could take me up to five minutes to get out of bed to get to the restroom. But after the third day, it started, it started continually getting better and better. And today, I did one of the last two tests to see what I am able to eat in the intake. Um, I went and had some buffalo wings. <laughs> um, no problem there. The, the biggest uh, drawback I'm going to have is the right, right after I had the gallstone attack, um, I tried to have a piece of cheesecake because I was craving cheesecake. Took two bites. No sooner I took the two bites, I yarfed it. So it seemed like anything with heavy cream was giving me problems. So I'm going to see, I'm going to chance it this week, I'm going to have a piece of cheesecake. I love cheesecake. I can take one of those Jello no bake cheesecakes, Jello gelatin no bake cheesecakes, make it like tonight, put it in the fridge, let it harden up. I keep the whole thing in one sitting. That's how much I love cheesecake. Um, so, yeah, there we go. Glasses, E3 stuff, surgery taken care of. Now, um, as for streaming and recording, could be doing some of that, but I came across a couple issues where I have to figure out where to put the microphone when I'm playing. I mean, having it where it is right now is not a problem. The problem is for me to have the boom that I have reach here, it's going to block part of the screen. So, minor technical issues. Plus, um, I have run out of desk space. Uh, with all the gadgets. I mean, I got a monitor, a TV, a keyboard, mouse pad, mouse, mixer, mic stand, uh, the webcam, which I still haven't replaced. Um, I got PS3. I got the, oh, geez, the network switch for the gaming systems. I got the HDMI switch for the gaming systems. I got the HDMI splitter for the gaming systems. I got my uh, new Canon T3 sitting on the desk. I got my uh, Nexus 7. Um, I got my phone, which is getting replaced finally. Um, I found out that there's a little problem with my router. It needs replaced. Um, basically, what happened with the routers, I had an old microwave that didn't have the all the plastic on the door. Well, unfortunately, it was a chunk about this big missing in the corner. Unfortunately, it was direct line of the router and it fried the uh, 2.4 gigahertz, the lower channels. Um, so my phone don't connect to it, but the problem is my phone was connected to it when it went, so my Wi-Fi don't work with the phone. It's still a little spotty. I just, I wasn't satisfied with the performance of the phone. It worked for what I needed, um, but the performance of it I just was not happy with. So the phone's getting replaced. Um, but anyway, I have absolutely no room on the desk. So one, I can't do a tech time to show you guys the USB charger. Um, so that's on hold. The second thing is I don't have the new boom, don't have the new mic, which seeing that I figured out what the sound problem was, I might just keep it for now. 
Um, don't have the new mixer. <clears throat> Excuse me. But the problem I'm having, oh, excuse me, now is I need to get desk space. So I am in the process of creating and designing a cabinet that's going to go over here next to me. That's going to sit probably about a little over four foot tall, which on this cabinet is going to be the lower shelf, it's going to be my PC, and then it's going to be game systems all four game systems and then on top will be the notebook that I'm using for a uh, access point as well as the router whether it's this one or the one I replace um, once that's built which is going to be fun because I'm looking at two four, ten to twelve cooling fans to put in this thing um, I I'll do a little tech thing about that before I start shoving stuff in. But, um, so I'm going to have that. Oh no, it's going to be 10, 12, 14 cooling fans. So if you think about it, you spend 18 bucks for a 140 millimeter, 10 of those. And then I have to wire it into a power supply of some sort. So, yeah. Um, I'm also, I'm starting to get tired of the volume on my TV. One moment it's high, the next day it's low. I don't change the volume. So I'm looking at hooking speakers back up to that with the, the way I used to have in my old system with the car stereo. But I don't have room on the desk for it. So I got, and I need to raise the TV a little bit. So I'm putting a shelf on the desk also, which I think I'm going to put, the charger for the controller is there. Now, the one thing I don't like is the Xbox One controller. You can plug it in with the wire and use your PC. That's great. But the moment you want to use on your Xbox One, you have to take that USB cable and plug it into the Xbox One so the Xbox One recognizes the controller. Because the moment you plug in the PC, the controller recognizes the PC and it forgets that there's an Xbox One. So it doesn't conflict when you accidentally hit the home button and the Xbox One turns on. So that's under construction, we shall say. Um, so once that's done, I'll do a little video of what that looks like, hopefully. And, just explain how I hook the uh, fans up. I'm looking, I'm, I want to get like the uh, either white or blue LED fans. Um, I'm, this is what I'm thinking white fans for the PC to help pull air out, green fans for the Xboxes, and blue fans for the PlayStations. It'd be kind of neat, you know, which system is where. Um, so, it's going to look like a Christmas tree by right? time I'm done. And the top's going to have four fans blowing up on the notebook, too. So those, I don't know. I might just leave those as standard fans. But it's going to cost me close to $200 in fans. Um, did have an issue with um, cooling in my system. Um, my graphics card was getting hot. And if you go back, I think two or three videos, I showed that the, the, the um, Black Magic was right up against the graphics card. Well, I moved it down to the next graphics card slot. So I retested, everything's working fine. So as long as I keep that um, Black Magic Intensity Pro in a graphics card slot, everything works fine. Um, and I took out two um, 140s from the case that were the white ones. I had those two high speed, well not high speed, but high airflow um, auxiliary fans that the guy talked me into buying and I was like, eh, but I'll buy them anyway, put them in my wife's case. They won't fit in my wife's case because there's no mounting points for 140s. So I mounted those up in the front and I took my exhaust fan in the back and flipped it. So it's pushing air in. So it's pushing air in on the graphics card, on the memory, 
the other, or no, it's pushing on the memory where your CPU fan would normally blow across. So that's cooling that. <clears throat> the air two fans are cooling the rest of the stuff. And everything's coming out of top. Everything's so keto. So, um, so as far as uh, streaming and stuff, I'm going to attempt it. Um, I don't know when yet. Um, I did some speed tests, and I got pretty good connection, even though I'm going over a wireless. So the biggest problem I'm going to have is I got to make sure I have anything I want to eat cooked before I stream and make sure my neighbor's not upstairs and he accidentally turns his microwave on. Because what happens is microwaves work on the 2.4 gigahertz spectrum. So do the older cordless phones. Well, so do your lo the low band on your wireless routers. So microwave kicks on because of the strength of its signal or blocks 2.4. <clears throat> so until I get my own internet, I'm going to share his. I, I got like throughput upload of like 2.2, 2.5, which is great. Um, when I did my test streams originally, I think I was only doing 1.5, so there's some headway there. Um, download, I've been... That's the other reason why I didn't do any updates, is the fact that for a week and a half, um, Time Warner decided to take their time and drag their feet and finally fix the issues that were happening with the internet in our area don't know what they did um, hopefully they turn on put a sump pump in the substation because it, it used to get flooded and, I don't know. but I know that they were out here sometime last week before I uh, matter of fact it was Monday and the well it's not Time Warner but it's the company that runs the underground cabling for Time Warner and they ran a cable from down the street, buried it, and brought it up to the pole in the apartment building next door to me, which is on the corner, and tapped that in for our stretch of the road. So everything's improved. We'll see. But anyway, this has gone so long. So I shall let you guys go. Um, if there's any more quick updates, I might do something, but nothing really going to happen right away. Uh, keep an eye open on my Twitter, um, which is at we what is it, at Wheeljack underscore. I can't remember anymore. It's been so long. I got the new. Um, uh -oh. Did I put it in. Here? Yeah. Oh, that's the old ones. No, that's the new ones. Uh, so, Twitter is uh, at Wheeljack underscore with the WLJK capitalized. Um, YouTube, you're still here. You're watching. Um, Twitch is the same idea. Um, so, if you subscribe to me on Twitch, which two of you I've sent personal messages and I don't think you turned around and uh, switched over, which is perfectly fine. If you don't want to watch it me anymore, I... I can understand. I've been dragging my feet getting stuff done. Um, so, yeah. but this has been Wheeljack. I shall catch you guys later. Have a good day, night, morning, evening, whatever it is. And uh, also have a nice summer. If I don't see you in the near future, have fun with that. Um, no accidents during summer vacation, please. I had that happen once. Two days in the summer vacation from school, I had an incident where I ended up having stitches and I couldn't do anything for two thirds of my summer vacation other than sit in the house. And that was back in the day, that was in the 80s, 
when you didn't have HBO or Netflix or that fact a lot of people didn't have internet so yeah but I shall catch it later and uh, yeah so once again this is Wheeljack catch it later